Hey everyone, welcome back to Real the Real, the movie review show produced entirely by the interactive design and video production students here at Hennepin Technical College. My name is Fernando Quinones, and I'm with me, Jeff Neppel. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. What? You know, Robert Oppenheimer's famous line. Did you even watch the movie? We're reviewing Barbie? We are? Yes. Did you even watch the movie? Yeah, I saw it right before Oppenheimer. <laughs> Why don't we have the folks at home watch the trailer while we get this sorted out? I guess I don't need this. Hey Barbie. Can I come to your house tonight? Sure. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. You can find me under the lights, diamonds under my eyes. This is the best day ever. It is the best day ever. So is yesterday, and so is tomorrow, and every day from now until forever. Yeah. You guys ever think about dying? When my heart breaks. Some things have been happening that might be related. When my world shakes. Cold shower Ooh. falling off my roof. Ah! And my heels are on the ground. <gasps> Flat feet! Ah! What do I have to do? You have to go to the real world. You can go back to your regular life, or you can know the truth about the universe. The choice is now yours. The first one, the high heel. You have to want to know, okay? Do it again. Closer I am to Closer I am to I'm coming with you. Okay. Wow, this is the real world. <laughs> What's going on? Why are these men looking at me? Yeah, they're also staring at me. Barbie in the real world. That's impossible. If this got out, this could mean extremely weird things for our world. This would be catastrophic! We haven't played with Barbie since we were like five years old. Oh. No one rests until this doll is back in a box. Even if nobody else sings along. Humans only have one ending. Get that Barbie! Ideas live forever. No, I won't let you do just one appendectomy. But I'm a man. But not a doctor. Can I talk to a doctor? You are talking to a doctor. Can I need a clicky pen? No. A sharp thing? No. There he is. Doctor! Somebody get security. It's Barbie, if you're still in doubt. Barbie is a story of a Barbie doll, played by Margot Robbie, living a perfect life in Barbie land with all of the other Barbies and Kens, who one day wonders about death. This causes her perfect life to fall apart, so she and Ken, played by Ryan Gosling, travel to the real world to find the little girl who's playing with her and causing this existential crisis. Once there, they get separated, Barbie goes to Mattel, appeals for help, while Ken discovers patriarchy. Barbie learns that Mattel doesn't have her best interests at heart, and discovers that the girl who was playing with her is actually a mother named Gloria, playing with her daughter Sasha's old toys while remembering the past. Gloria and Sasha help Barbie escape from Mattel, and all three travel back to Barbie Land, only to find that Ken has already returned and introduced patriarchy, with the Kens now in charge and the other Barbies brainwashed into subservient roles. Barbie unsuccessfully tries to convince the other Barbies to go back to the way things were, and subsequently falls into a deep depression. This causes Gloria to give Barbie a rousing speech that society's conflicting expectations of women, which snaps her out of her funk. Enlisting the help of a group of outcast dolls, Barbie, Gloria, and Sasha hatch a scheme to get the brainwashed Barbies back to their old selves. Having achieved this, all the Barbies then manipulate the Kens into turning on each other. The Barbies now realize the, system, the systemic oppression the Kens have been put through and decide to change the problematic events of the previous Barbie Land way of life. However, Ken is still sad because he feels he has no purpose without Barbie to which Barbie encourages him to do some self-discovery. 
Barbie herself is unsure about her future and ultimately decides to go back to the real world with Gloria and Sasha to become human. Barbie is a film about being human, about becoming human. Greta was the first person and the only person we went to because I love her as a writer, as a director. Do you just hold on for one second? Sublime! I knew that she would be doing something that feels relevant and current. That's amazing. Great, I love that one. She's an incredibly generous, brilliant person. Greta's enthusiasm is just completely contagious. Three, two, one. Here, let us show you. Yes, that's great. I feel like we've always used dolls as a way to kind of understand ourselves through play. I thought, well, wouldn't it be wonderful if she was allowed to be like us and to be flawed and messy and not have to be perfectly perfect? I'm fine. <laughs> A-OK. -okay. Greta's the best. That's great. She's an incredible director. I think she's an auteur. I don't understand how a person has that clear of a vision for every single detail of the movie. Greta's sense of humor and intelligence and warmth and heart is in everything. Greta described a script as human emotion expressed through dolls. And it was exactly that. I wanted to paint in big, beautiful, broad strokes and build this crazy world and have it be funny and real and relatable. And I just want people to feel joyful. Barbie! Hey, Jeff. Did you know that the Barbie Dreamhouse cul-de-sac was actually a practical set and not CGI? They were upscale all the props to give the talent some more doll-like look and feel. Hmm. Huh. I did not. Did you know that the budget for the movie was $145 million? And at the time of this recording has earned over $1.4 billion worldwide? You're absolutely right, Jeff. Also, this movie went through several changes. Like Amy Schumer was originally a scriptwriter with her sister, as well as being cast as Barbie. And before her, she was going to be Anne Hathaway. Development for the film began all the way back in September of 2009, when Mattel signed a deal with Universal Pictures, but nothing came of it until April of 2014, when Mattel teamed up with Sony Pictures to produce the film. True story. Eventually, director Greta Gerwig co-wrote the script with her partner Noah Baumbach and was given complete creative control over the script writing process. They had time to write the script during the COVID-19 pandemic and said that the process of writing was very open and free. Greta Gerwig was influenced by a Barbie as a child, but her mother wasn't the biggest fan of those types of dolls at the time, as she saw them setting a false beauty standard for women. Her mother would later allow her to have Barbies, but Gerwig would use her mother's point of view in the character Sasha, played by Ariana Greenblatt. Gerwig describes the film as anarchic, unhinged, and humanist. You can almost see the feelings of Gerwig through the pandemic with the line near the start of the movie of, do you guys ever think about dying? Throughout the movie, you can see the consequences of a Barbie hierarchy with the obvious trope of Barbie's rule and Ken's of the underclass. With this in mind, you can see where the later conflict comes from. Speaking of class, here's a word from our sponsor. Three, two, one. With what's happening today with smartphones, everybody has the ability to shoot video. But not everybody has the ability to edit that video and communicate a thought and idea in a professional way with high production value. That's where we come in. This particular program allows a student to do single cam productions, multi-cam productions, short films, corporate promos, things like that. So there's a lot of different things that a student can learn in the video production area. What I love here is the practical work that I can learn. It's like a non-pressure environment, and I like that about it. All those things that you're not gonna learn unless you do it. You can read about it in a book, but that's not gonna help you when you're on set. I feel like I speak for most people when I say I walked in this movie not expecting a lot, but when I actually saw it, I was laughing and taken back by the whole themes and messages. The whole hierarchy message was both bunny and held a lot of feeling and depth. The dance choreography had my eyes glued to the screen, and the subtle adult jokes were just enough but didn't drag like a Seth Rogen film. Learning that the set was all practical made me actually happy. I've been getting tired of all these CGI backgrounds and fake locations, so this was a breath of fresh air. The set and the behind the scenes and seeing how much the cast had chemistry, all of this really just made me even more happy. I wouldn't say I'd bring my younger niece to this movie, but it's definitely a movie for the adults. 
But in my opinion, this movie is full of laughs, maybe sit back and think about its strong themes. The ending did seem a little too introspective for me, but it didn't take me away from the movie. So due to all this, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 5 out of 5 reels. This movie came out of left field for me, and it definitely delivered. I loved this movie. From the opening parody of 2001 A Space Odyssey to the closing line at Dr. Barbie's first doctor appointment, this film had me grinning and laughing for almost two hours straight. Much like the Lego movie, I didn't know what to expect from Barbie, only that people seemed to really like it. And also like the Lego movie, I was blown away with how funny it was. This film fully embraces its campiness, yet it's still smart and manages to tackle serious issues like sexism, personal identity, and existential dread. I don't have any sisters, and I never played with Barbies myself, so my exposure to Barbies is limited to commercials and Christmas toy catalogs. But from what I'm told, this film is full of Easter eggs for the Barbie enthusiast. And I like that. You don't need to know anything about Barbie to enjoy this film, but if you do, it's an added layer, and that's something to appreciate. In fact, the middle-aged woman in the row in front of me was repeatedly squealing with delight, saying I had her, and I had her, and I had her. I also like the inclusivity of the casting, as there are Barbies of different sizes, shapes, and abilities, including one in a wheelchair. This conscious representation is consistent with the nature of the toy, furthering the message of you can do and be anything. So, the messages are great, the production design is great, the performances are great, the soundtrack is great, the jokes are great, the costumes are great. This film is just flat out great. If I had to find fault somewhere, I'd say Will Ferrell's scenes didn't do much for me, but then I'm not a big Will Ferrell fan, so take that for what it's worth. Overall, though, I give Barbie 5 out of 5 reels. Well, Jeff, it looks like we're running out of time. So if you're looking for more Reel of Reel, go ahead and follow us on our YouTube and Facebook for more live stream movie reviews every Friday at 10.30 and noon. We hope to have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for the Oppenheimer section of our Barbenheimer review at 12. And remember, you're, you're all enough.